Hey, what it do, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So we got a good video for you guys today. We did some Black Friday shopping the other day. We picked up some cool toys, and uh, we're gonna be getting into archery. Got my buddy Mike over here. He's actually got the bow that I picked up, and um, he's pretty much like my exact same build. We got matching guts, and um, we're gonna be trying to set this thing up to go a little bit long distance, but we're gonna be showing you guys the process of actually what it takes to set up a bow. I had zero clue on any of this, so we went down to the bow and arrow shop in Lakeside. Took my daughter with me, she actually got a bow too. We got my boy over here. We picked him up just a little recurve bow. So we've been having a blast out here. And you guys, today's actually kind of a big day. I think I just realized that like I'm an official YouTuber. I'm actually starting to get hate comments now. But it is what it is. So anyhow, I'm gonna enjoy making this video. It should be a good one. Uh, I love new sports. Archery's a lot of fun. We'll go ahead and see how this goes. All right, go for it. First long range. I haven't even done it yet. All right, well, I'm just wrapping up today. It's a little bit past eight o'clock, about 8.30. Kind of a long day. Had some unexpected stuff come up that I had to do with the truck. But check out what I got, guys. Ooh. This is gonna be what today's video is about. Should be pretty exciting. It's gonna be really hard for me, guys, but I'm not gonna open this until tomorrow because we're going to an actual shop. We're gonna have this set up. And we did get one for my daughter as well. So what we're doing right now, we gotta head out. We gotta go move some stuff around with the dump truck. And then after that, we're headed over to an archery store and they're gonna adjust our bow because I don't know a thing about these. And I guess there's a lot of adjustments that you have to make that actually like cater the bow to your specific build and whatnot. So that's gonna be what the bulk of today's video is about. We're gonna have some other stuff in there, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and jump on into it and... Let's roll. She got it. Let's do this. Before we roll completely out of here, I'm gonna show you guys our puppies. They are about eight weeks old now, and they are super cute, so let's check them out. What are you doing? Oh, big boy. Can you go show us the doggies? Oh, you big boy, you can't hear me. Oh, All right, well now we are out of here for reals. Those were our beautiful little Ridgeback puppies. We love them, but uh, let's go get some work done. Give me one of your recent ones. Right, Come on, Jack and Lane. Do, do, do. That's cool. Dude. Come on, little young lady. Let's see what you're doing. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to watch what I'm going to show her here. Okay. That way, when you get home, you can coach her the same way. Okay. And then I would highly suggest you keep it about this yardage. Okay. Don't go any more for now. Learn basics, fundamentals, strength, form, and repeatability. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I'm going to take all these from you so you can concentrate on one thing. Okay. Come right over here with me. I like your shoes, except they don't match. Oh, yeah. I kind of like them that way. <laughs> what? Is, this, is today crazy shoe day or something? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were in a hurry and couldn't find the matching pair? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what I want to see on you is I want you to shoot this arrow, and I want you to shoot this arrow camel. Camel stuff. right into this target, okay? okay. I, don't want you, I don't want you to aim at anything else but that. So I want to see what you're doing, and then we're going to kind of do some work today and see it make, make it better, okay? Okay. All right. Impress me. Here's your arrow. Okay. Have you loaded your own arrow before? Yeah. Yeah, before. Okay, we're gonna work on that today too. <laughs> okay, come over here to me a little bit. So that way my old body can lean up against this wall. Now I want to show you something here. See this right here, this white thing? Yeah. That's called a string knock. Really? See how your arrow's clear down here? Yeah. When you put this arrow on, put your arrow on right underneath that. Okay. And the reason why is that's going to stop your arrow. So if you knock it up right here, and then you knock it right here, and then you knock it right here, you're going to get all kinds of different elevations down there. Okay? Here's your bow. Now, what I want to see is what you know, what you're doing, and where you are. Do what you normally do. Okay. Is that better on the pole? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. All right. That was cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's talk about you a little bit before we shoot again. All right, let me see that arrow. Okay, we're gonna shoot a little bit lighter of an arrow that has a sharper tip on it so they stick. Okay. Okay, come here. You doing good? Yeah. You're doing really good so far. We're gonna just get better. Okay. 
Okay, don't move. I got your bow. Put these toes, one here and one here. Okay. Now, when you take a look down, see how this foot's sticking out just a little bit further than that one? So you're right, nope, don't move it. You had it perfect. Put it back to here. Yep, perfect. So you as a right-handed shooter, I want your right foot sticking a little bit further out than the left. So your stance, dad, is perfect, okay? Okay, so when you pull back on a bow, because you don't have any sights on here, you got to be very repeatable where you put this finger to your face. Okay. Okay, so what I mean by that, make a big C with that hand right there. Man, look at all that jewelry you have on it. That's crazy. Okay, make a C. Go like this. See this right here? Yeah. Look down there for me. Feel that jawbone right there? Yeah. Put that jawbone that I'm pushing on right there in your finger. Look at me. Do that. <laughs> okay, okay, do that. Nope, without the bow. Keep that right there. Look down there. Bring your head up. Yep. Now you see this finger right there? Yeah. Put that in the corner of your mouth. Look at me. Yeah. That's called an anchor spot. That's okay. where I always, always want you to go. Okay. okay. Don't ever not go there. Okay. Okay. Hold this arm straight out for me. Right here, you're holding the bow. Open up. Now look down range. That's what I want you to do. Okay. Okay. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to touch your nose on that string. And then third thing I want you to do is when you pull back, I want you to pull back, lean your head over, and I want you to look right down this arrow with your right eye. And I want you to put the tip of barrel on that number two target that we talked about, okay? Okay. You got all that? You sure? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Well, I'm going to be right here watching. Okay, here's your bow. Okay. Get right back here and get your feet. Okay. No, we just talked about your feet. Turn to me. Turn straight to me. Yeah. Now, what, what, what do we do with this foot? Um, we stick it out a little bit further, right? Put it to my finger. Yeah, right. Okay, okay. hold your bow. Right. All right, all right, all right. And we, I'm going to get a feather out. <laughs> hold tight. Don't move. Don't move. Hey, are you ready? Well, you said don't move. I know. <laughs> you did so good. Your dad should buy you an ice cream after this, so you did so good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll see about that. Well, we will, <laughs> huh? Okay, so what I want you to do, put your fingers right here. Yep. Okay, hold that arm straight out for me. Okay, now pull. Put that finger in the corner of your mouth like we talked. Corner of the mouth. Touch your mouth. Look at me. Touch your mouth. Get it in there. Now, look down your arrow. Put the tip of that arrow on that number two target. Let it go. Okay. Okay, I almost pretty, got it. Pretty good. You know what you did right there? You closed this eye and you left this one open. I want you to close this eye and leave this one open. Okay. All right, let's do it again. Come on. No, I got arrows. You oh. come right here. All right, we got the feet. Okay, hold that bow back up. Oh, this one. It's pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Okay. Look at me. When you pull back, look, look at me. I want you to go just like this. Corner of the mouth, lean that head over. Look right down that arrow and put that tip in that number two target. Okay. But leave this eye open. Okay. Okay. Corner of the mouth, corner of the mouth. Now, leave that eye open. No, nope. touch your mouth, touch your mouth, touch your mouth, touch your mouth with this finger. That finger? Yep. Touch your mouth, get it in there. Feel that difference? That's how I want you. Okay, okay. hold that bow, hold it. Okay, put that tip in the middle, let it go. Pretty dang closer, huh? Yeah. Let me go turn your bow down see if I can get any more out of this. Get your feet. Okay, now, what you I notice on you, look at me, you go like this. No, nope. I want you to pull right into that target. Okay, so always keep it right at that line. Okay, let's do it again. Good. Good, yeah. Doing really good today. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Bring that, bring that in like that. Okay, hold that string for me. Can it now? Push that bow up. Go. I got you. Happens to me. You know why? It's because you pinched it with your fingers. Okay, go. Corner of the mouth. Corner of the mouth. Touch your mouth with this finger. Feel that difference? Okay, that's what I'm looking for on you. Hold the bow. Okay, look right in the tip and let it go. Let it go. Almost. Pretty dang close. Hold it up for me. Let's do one more. You're getting tired on me. 
Okay, hey, Dad, you've got what her nemesis here is, is the mass physical weight of the boat. Okay. Okay, turn to me. She's pulling the weight. Good. Yeah, right. Not that much. Go back a little bit more. Hey, it's like you're doing the cha-cha with crazy shoes. Okay, hold that bow up. Okay, go. Corner of the mouth, corner of the mouth. Keep pulling back, keep pulling back. Open this eye. Bring this arm up. Go to the corner of your mouth, touch your face. Okay, you've got the bow. You're okay, keep it back. Keep it back. Okay, go. Okay, hold the bow. Nope, let it down, don't shoot it. She's tired, Dad. Okay, so I got the bow down as low as I can go on poundage, but it's the, it'd, be, it'd be like me giving you a 100 pound dumbbell. You're gonna go, whoa, yeah. and that's what you see on her form. So she's doing this yeah. and she's closed up because this is heavy, right? So don't turn the bow down anymore, I've got it low. But case in point, like if I gave you a little youth recurve compared to that weight, that's essentially what you're fighting right now. But the premise, what I'm trying to get on her, is just like that you're gonna learn with your compound today, mm -hmm. is repeatability. So if she does this, or this, or this, or this, that's four different spots down there, she's gonna have yeah. like that. Kind of like you shoot an iron sight rifle, right? Cheek high, low, left or right, walk in the rear sight. Yeah. She doesn't have a front sight or a rear sight to object, so okay. she's gotta be very key on her points of touch. Okay. But right now, just build that strength up. Maybe get some, uh, lightweight suit cans and just have her do some of this stuff to strengthen up the shoulders for hold. Okay? You did good today. Proud of you. How do you feel? You got a bomb knuckles. Don't leave me hanging here. I feel good. Oh, oh, why you gotta do it so hard? I'm delicate. Alright. I had fun working with you. I'm looking for that knuckle right there. Look down where it's going. Work that knuckle right there. Hold that up in that pocket, and I want this part of your finger. So, uh, you feel that pressure? Yeah, I want that pressure. Because if you come in like this, you can be here, here, here. Yep. And just like a rifle, your rear sight's doing the same thing, right? So up, in, and forward. Right. Right. So when you say finger into the jaw, you just right there. You did it. So does that just mean they basically set the back up the riding part? So that, you can do it, Dad. You can do it, Dad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Oh, oh Nick, all that hard work you just did. Now we know. Hey, now I know what happened to his Delroy. <laughs> Pig, I'm sorry, baby. Here you go, James. <laughs> <laughs> no, because then I gotta fix it. Like <laughs> perfect. Just like normal, right on that. When you pull, yeah, yeah, remember what you just did. You want to pull a bull like that because what happens? Guys will come in with a busted lip or a broken nose or a black eye. Just pull, pull, and pull, pull, pull. Okay, hold that bow. Keep your finger off that turd tight tight. It should be easy for you. Nice, slow, and steady. Okay, get that knuckle behind that here. Touch the tip here. I'll move this to you so I'll fix it. You can do it, Dad. Stop. Don't go any more any less. Put your nose on the straight. Stop. Remember, Dad, you can Keep do it. Keep the pressure forward. Just relax your fingers. Feel that difference? Yeah. Okay, hold that up. Drop your elbow down to me. Yep. Nope. Get your tipping nose on. I'll move the feet. I'm just looking at some stuff. Like Shoot this one. Nope. Take a half inch out. Help. <laughs> okay. I'll save you a little time. It's like... Now, put your nose on the string. My yes. house. Don't yeah. move. That's and perfect set. Drop I'm this like, shoulder and elbow. Drop this how far is Yep. Uh, Hold that for me. Put your nose on the tip. Right there. Where's the peak? Too high, too low. 25 minutes. Too low. You've been a better driver for 45 minutes. Can you see the right way? As short as it goes. Inside diameter of that. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You're fine. Go ahead and put your finger on the turn. Deeper. Curl around that turn. Check your nose. I'm old fashioned. You have to be. I haven't seen most of the most of the bulls are for you. Great. Oh, Max there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 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 Stand up with all of this. Touch your nose. No, Drop shoulder. I have no doubt. Relax your fingers. fingers. Now, keep that, what you got, just pivot the bottom. You feel that lock? You want to fill that, big dog. Put grip in his boat. Okay, yep. Drop this, drop this. Pitch me right here. Put your finger around the trigger. Don't leave that pocket. Put your finger deeper. Okay, circle to circle. Top pins. Yeah. Okay. You got such a good insight. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Package bows, man. Yeah. Okay. Tighten that, too. Dude, you got to be careful with these because you go too tight, you're going to snap. So you're accurate. You just call it. Oh, Dad, you almost split your arrows in half. Well, Dad, because your dad's awesome. I almost split my arrows in half. Do you have arrows with that? Go ahead and just tighten it up. No, I didn't. You want to get arrows today or like react? All right, we're about to take off. Huge awesome thanks to the thing. guys here at Bow and Arrow Shop. We got Bruce. He was pretty much showing me the ropes. Now I've never like ever really got into one of these, so I'm looking forward to this. But huge thanks, guys. Yeah, man, absolutely good work. Good luck. You. Yeah. If you guys are in the San Diego area, I definitely recommend stopping on by. They did a killer job. They helped my daughter get everything set up, and uh, we're gonna go put this to work now. Thanks, guys. Yeah, dude, enjoy. Thank you. All right, well, we're done with work for the day, and we just got back, and we decided to pick up a little surprise from our boy, and we ended up getting him. A little bow and arrow as well that he does not know about yet. So yeah. should we go show him? Yes. All right. You ready for um, your big surprise? Yeah. All right, go for it. You know what that is? A bow and arrow. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. We thought about giving you one since I fast throw your stuff. You said no, I'm not too old enough. Now you really want one, so we got one for you. It's already open. Should we set it up for you? Yep. Yeah. yeah, but. All right, let me put it together. This is for protecting you if you're out in the wild adventure. We gotta teach, gotta teach the tractor boy how to, how to fling some arrows. But I have that safety seal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! You want to try it again? Yeah. Okay, go get the arrow. Okay. That's fun! Can this one actually kill a fish? It might be able to get a fish. Yeah, but then somebody would try and break it. You know what, Abe? If the 
Yeah. At the shop, I found this bow and arrow with the, so much feathers on it. It was called a flu flu. <laughs> it was so light. You want to know what it was for? A guy this, told yeah. me that yep. works there. He you said it it's for a small bed. Oh, yeah. Dad, oh, yeah. Like yeah. this rubble? rubble. It is this rubble. Put this one on. Put this arm out straight. Yeah. Okay. Pull back. Now wake up. Now pull back farther. Let go when you're ready. Okay. Let go. Oh, it didn't go in now. Almost 50. Not bad. He, he almost got it dialed in within five arrows. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Or pretty good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I can't get him out. Uh oh. Cones are bad targets. <laughs> Apparently for dumb farmers. Ah. Pulled the inside of the cone. Hmm. I think we just spray paint a big target okay. on the hay. Yeah, I think that's gonna be easier. <laughs> yep. I don't know if it's recording or not. Ugh. You see it red light. It's recording. It's recording your butt. I think we can see that from that far away. Orange on yellow. I think so. You got this. Bullseye. We're gonna give this another shot, see if, uh, if it was a fluke or if I can actually be consistent. But not too bad. What? Oh, you found the green tip? <laughs> Not too far from your tire. Yeah. You do have a wind blowing from there. I, I went all the way over. Let me try. Uh, use one. Use one. <laughs> My bad. Hey, if you want to go up next to Mike, you can shoot in there, okay? Okay. But you never step in front of him, okay? I doubt anybody can see this. See the arrows. Probably not. Almost. Hey. 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 That's why I put it coming the way back. Whoa! Whoa! In your tire, in your Jeep? Alright, well upon further inspection, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to pick this up on camera, but it is cracked right there, so like this clamp does not hold on to the site. So, I think what that means is I'm going to have to replace this pretty much like right away. I think we'll let Mike shoot some more arrows down range with not with the pink bow. You wanna do that? I can try without sight. Yeah. Mike's Robin Hood. You ready? Come on. With your bare fingers. You don't need this. You're ready, don't. Cracking. Oh, yeah. yeah. No? Yeah. How do you not see that crack? I just think that's glue that's not, because it's no, not cracked over here. That's totally a crack. I don't Look, think it is. It's splitting in half in the center. I think it's manufacturer defect. Dude, that's totally splitting in half. <laughs> I think it's manufactured defect. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, Mike's gonna try and hit the bottle. No sights. Robin Hood. Straight through the shop. Not bad, not bad, but you missed. It was straight though. You suck. Get some good action shots. Bruce, if you're watching this, Mike's probably gonna come visit you pretty soon. You can teach him proper form. He's all sorts of bad. Hey, sure. Why you going? I have no sight. <laughs> yeah, excuses. Excuses. Gotta resort to primitive ways. You yeah, gotta put your knuckle and do your jawbone. Touch your nose of that string. <laughs> You're gonna end up with a missing tooth. <laughs> Screw it. It doesn't have many teeth, but it has one eye. That's close. Well, we just have to pull my bone. It's good that it didn't 
fall. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna hit it without a sight. No, without a sight. <laughs> I was gonna do so right. well my bow. Yep. All right, Bruce, wanting well, to come see you because my sight <laughs> took a dive today. All right, well, seriously, guys, a huge shout out to those guys over at the Bow and Arrow Shop. They did an awesome job. They gave me like a ton of pointers that honestly I had no clue about. I know zero about archery. And so it was pretty cool that I went down there. Honestly, guys, quick story. Um, I was kind of frustrated at first because yesterday I stopped by. I didn't even have my bow yet. I knew it was being delivered yesterday. And I was like, hey, can you guys just sell me some arrows? And the guy looked at me and goes, nope. And he goes, well, I really shouldn't or he didn't want to. I don't remember exactly what he said, but um, I walked out of the store kind of like, because I really wanted to shoot my bow once I got it home. You guys, I'm so glad I waited. Because once I got down there and they actually like started setting it up, I realized that I had no clue what I was doing. And if I had started flinging arrows with that thing, I probably would have hurt myself or someone else or done something wrong, broke the bow, I don't know. So if you guys are just getting into archery, you really should go to an archery shop before you're just trying to start figuring out what you're doing. Because if you're like me and don't have a clue what you're doing, it's definitely probably gonna save you some grief. And now I know like the basics of like how to shoot an arrow, proper form, even though it needs a lot of work still. Um, those guys just knocked it out of the park. Can't recommend them enough. I'm definitely gonna be going back. This is probably gonna end up being like a pretty red hobby of mine. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into the next part of the video. My buddy's on his way over. I think he has the cylinder for the blade rebuilt. So we're gonna go ahead and try and get that in. But until he gets here, I'm gonna start working on the Ranger because we haven't been able to drive this thing in months. And I really need to get it back because we used to use this thing all the time. And now it's just kind of a lawn ornament. So I'm gonna try and get this thing working. I know it has like a gas leak. The squirrels just wreaked havoc on this thing. So gonna get it cleaned up and hopefully back together and working correctly. 20 years of dirt right there. Yeah, we're uh, getting the old bed ready for the cylinder to lay in there. Is that a ketchup packet? Yeah, look. Soy what sauce? What is that? Yeah, it is. That's soy sauce. <laughs> Anything to seal it, just have these uh, metal washers on there. Oh, geez. So in between the metal washers and that nut that whoever welded on there, it, uh, I think it was probably leaking right out of, right out of these things. Mm, okay. So here is... Some homemadeness? Yeah, this is all kind of homemade, so. The last one, the, the weld doesn't look too bad on here, I don't. But the other one over there, I saw a bunch of porosity, so like I said, I ground it off and just braised it up. Okay. All right, so here's the cylinder that got rebuilt. All right, he did some brazing right here. He said that it had some bad welds and it was gonna leak right there. So he fixed that one there, that one there, that one over there. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this out and drop it down in there. Right here on this. So initially, I was so curious on how to get this cylinder out of here, and the pockets right here, this piece right here has to slide all the way back in order for that other side to drop in. So we're gonna go ahead and move this all the way over, like that. We'll drop this end down. Boom, just like that, easy. All right, what, camera shot? <laughs> All right, well, Jason's the man. Check this out, guys. So pretty much this whole assembly right here is all back together, minus minus these, but we're, we're gonna pretend that it's there. But yeah, this whole bottom section's back together, and um, hopefully less leaky. So my mechanic efforts were very short-lived tonight. Uh, pretty much found out that the fuel pump right here, somehow this little piece broke off, like so. So I gotta order a new one of these. So probably in like another three or four days once I get the part, you guys will see this getting buttoned up and back out of the shop. 
All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put the screws to this video. I had a ton of fun making this one. It was fun going down to the bone arrow shop. I had a good time with my daughter when they were teaching us like actual proper form and all that stuff. I had no idea there was so much to it. So huge thanks to the guys down at the bone arrow shop. They did an awesome job. All right, so if you guys are looking for a gift for your kids, I definitely would recommend getting them a bow. It was a ton of fun. We've had a blast the past couple days. And um, I'm big on getting my kids gifts that like can actually help develop their skills and things like that. And I think taking up archery will definitely do. So we did get all the parts ordered for the Polaris Ranger. There's more than I thought there was gonna be. The fuel pump's bad on it. There's a little part in the shifting mechanism that was broken. It's got a bunch of wires that got chewed. So I got everything ordered for that. Hopefully get that out of here pretty soon. We did get the cylinder replaced in the grader, so that's a huge step in the right direction. Next, we're gonna do the two vertical ones that lift the platform up and down. I'm super pumped that this shop might be cleaning a little bit. We might get this big stuff out of here and actually get it cleaned up. But appreciate you guys for taking time to watch. Give me a huge solid like, subscribe, share this video with your amigos, hit that notification button, and I still stand by my word. If my last video gets to 40,000 views, I will give away the Traxxas UDR. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later.